Hey Sting, Coach Adam here. Uh, I'm here with Dr. Zach Shields at our Elite Sport and Spine Brookfield Clinic. Over the course of the next few weeks, we're going to be uh, giving you some content on some of the more common volleyball related injuries that we see in our clinic and we treat on a regular basis. Um, so we're going to get started with ankle sprains. So first things first with an ankle sprain, we got to eliminate the RICE protocol. And RICE protocol stands for rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Uh, there's not a whole lot of evidence to support that this thing actually gets you back on the court faster. Uh, so from a clinical standpoint, we don't usually recommend it and we try to get movement in there as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, step one with an ankle sprain. First, we got to make sure that nothing is broken. All right, so make sure that there's not significant trauma in the ankle. You can get that x-rayed. You can go to a medical doctor, a chiropractor. We can get pictures of that to make sure. Once we rule that out, we want to try to get movement in as soon as possible. And that doesn't mean we're going to hop right back onto the volleyball court, but we can do stuff when you're out of practice to get you back there faster. So the first exercise that I usually like to tell people to do is doing something called ABCs. So Dr. Zach here with his, we got to imagine he's got a, a really bummed up ankle. We're going to do some a, small little ABCs with his foot to try to just get a little bit of movement back into it. Whenever we are getting movement into your ankle, that can actually help pump some of the fluid uh, and some of the swelling up out of the ankle joint back through the rest of the body. So just little bit of uh, itty bitty movements. There might be a little bit of pain through this, but we don't want to blast through pain barriers. We just want to kind of go with what is tolerable for you. So he's going to go through the entire alphabet. You can do this when you're sitting on the bleachers at practice, if you have an ankle sprain, and this is a great place to start. Uh, when we're trying to rehab an ankle sprain. So when the ABCs get too easy, exercise two is going to be a banded inversion and eversion motion. So we can take a looped band like this, put it around both feet here. And Dr. Zach here is going to, we're again going to imagine he's got a right ankle sprain here. He's going to go into eversion, which is trying to take the bottom of his, of his foot and rotate it away from him. Okay. So he's going to go through that motion, turn his foot away, and slowly come back. And you can see that there's probably a little bit of shaking and there'll probably be a little bit of shaking here. But what we're trying to do is improve some of the strength and some of the muscles that potentially could have been damaged in the ankle sprain. Um, so this, this might be a challenging exercise for you, but that's totally okay. So then when we want to do inversion, he can take this foot, cross it over the top. And we can do the opposite motion there where we're going, most likely this is the mechanism that caused the ankle sprain. Um, so we want to be kind of careful when we start to introduce this. But again, we're still trying to strengthen some of the muscles that are up here, some of the tendons as well uh, that could have been potentially damaged in the ankle injury. So this is a banded inversion and eversion uh, exercise to help build some strength again in some of these muscles. Exercise three of ankle sprain rehab is going to be trying to improve some balance. One of the things that's lost commonly in an ankle sprain is your brain's ability to know where your foot is in space. So we want to try to challenge this and improve on it. Uh, so for right now, he's just going to do some single leg balance. So again, he's got a right ankle sprain. So he's going to try to balance on this right ankle here, on this right foot, and try to really focus on what his uh, what is going on down here. All right. So he's really trying to make a brain connection with what is occurring in the floor, what is occurring through his foot. If he wants to focus on a fixed point uh, to give him some concentration, that usually might make this easier. So then what we can do is we can start to challenge this. So we have all these fancy pads here at our office, but what you have available might be a pillow or a blanket. So you can put a blanket down, uh, which makes the surface a little bit more uneven. Um, and do the same balance thing. So we might do this for 30 seconds. You might balance for a minute um, and we can progress this to make it more and more challenging. So if we went from this one to a softer pad or if you went to a pillow at home, we can really start to improve and challenge our, our brain's ability to control our foot motion uh, and our balance through that foot. From there then, we can take a ball. So you can take a volleyball, you can be balancing at practice uh, and you can have a teammate or a parent or a coach throw you a ball. I can toss this to Zach, he can catch it, throw it back to me, and you can see that it really starts to make him wobbly and really challenges some of the muscles in his foot uh, to keep him upright. So we can do this again, back to me, do this again, back to me. You could pass this ball back to your, uh, your coach, you could set it back to your coach, whatever you're trying to do to improve some of the balance in your foot. 
So the final exercise of the ankle rehab is going to be some single leg hopping. So Dr. Zach here is gonna hop real quickly, uh, working on landing softly, but we're trying to re-stimulate some of the muscles in the back of his calf uh, to get used to jumping again. Uh, we don't wanna just go from doing these exercises straight back into jumping because it might be a little uncomfortable. So we can start to introduce this in little baby hops. From there then we can go into more of like a single leg bound where he's actually trying to elevate off the floor and work on some of that soft landing mechanics. Last thing would be this protocol here is, is very in, uh, based on the individual. It's not gonna go step by step for everybody. So as a practitioner, we have to make sure we're kind of plugging you in appropriately, uh, but the goal is to get you back on the court as fast as possible.